Well, hello everybody. Today we are going to look at spacecraft movement and velocity and a bit of a, a general discussion on the feel of spacecraft combat. The way that spacecraft work dictates a huge amount of how the combat feels. So before we jump into the rules, it's worth talking just a little bit about how different science fiction mediums, films, books, etc. treat spacecraft movement and particularly movement in combat. So you've got this, this odd sort of, not so much a tension, but a blending of fantasy, dreams, excitement sort of stuff mixed with sort of science and they blend together to how people think that it's going to work or what they think is going to be cool and interesting. And you're going to find that people are going to be at different ends of the spectrum, which is um, at one end you've got more lighter science, we'll call it. Um, it's more you know, where fighters just sort of move around each other at all different um, ways and sharp turns. Um, and it's something a lot more closer to how fighters work in our atmosphere in our time and it's a lot more relatable um, and just because people understand it then at the other end of the spectrum we will call it harder science science fiction um, where you end up with combat systems work a little bit like in how submarines work in terms of like how their weapons fire on each other you're not really looking at each other at a porthole or a view screen um, you're, you're, you're locking onto energy signatures and firing over vast distances. And the way that movement works is because in space, as soon as you set something in motion, it's not going to stop um, until there's another force on it. Um, of course, that works just for us now. We just happen to have gravity. Um, so if your ship burns its engines, it's just going to keep going without the engines burning until something else changes like till you burn your engines again you can rotate and you're still going to go in this direction okay it's not until you fade and then you burn your engines and you slow down now the way that we're doing it in fragged empire is if we're going to look at that spectrum it's probably slightly towards the harder science in terms of how velocity works a little bit um but probably a little bit more of the lighter spectrum in terms of how weapon systems work. And the reason that we've done it, and I'm going to talk through how it works, is because I feel like this is a game and we chose the option we feel the most fun. We also wanted a system that is quite different to personal combat. Um, we want it to feel like you're flying this big old machine. Um, and also the glory is not just in shooting the weapons and blowing things up. There's also glory to be had in terms of piloting and targeting and um, repairs and things like that um, as well. So we're going to talk through how velocity works. So let's say this is your party ship and you've got an NPC enemy ship. At the start of combat, each of you will set your starting velocity. And this is done by putting a dice next to your ship. So let's say your starting velocity is five and then theirs is two. Start of the turn, you do your command phase. The very first thing you do before you roll any system rolls is to move forward that amount. So two, three, four, five. You then make your command rolls and you may change your facing. You're changing this way now and then you may alter your velocity. So let's say you drop that down um, to three. Okay, then the NPCs take their command phase. And so he moves forward two. They make their command system rolls. They're gonna speed up to five, change their facing. Then both of you do your secondary system roll faces. You shoot at each other or launch ordnance things like that. Then the next turn, back to the command roll again. Highest velocity goes first, 
So he's moving at five. Now move forward one, two, three, four, five. Makes command rolls, changes, changes velocity. Then you take your command phase. One, two, three. You make your command rolls, change your facing. What does it say? You jump all the way up to six speed. Now, it's important to note that your ship's maximum and minimum velocity is always one and six. Okay, minimum of one, maximum of six. You never go higher than that, and you never go lower than one. And what you'll find is this creates a sort of sweeping approach to how your ships will move. They feel big, okay, because they're sort of moving sort of clumsily. And you'll find that if you're at a lower velocity to your enemy, um, that gives you a little edge because high velocity acts first, so they must move, and then you can move in response to where they are. Um, but having a high velocity means that you can move more around the map, and you also make your command rolls first. And this can give you an advantage, for example, if you're gonna launch fighters and do other tricky things. If you really must go first, you can boost up your speed. Now that's how that works. Um, it's something that is a little bit hard to explain in a video um, to sort of see how velocity works with your weapon systems. My recommendation is to try a game, get a nice mat like this, um, draw in some terrain, like some, just some, like a uh, planet, um, uh, asteroids, you know, have a bit of a go. Um, also remember when doing planets, as explained in the book, you want to draw in the gravitational field. Um, the way the gravitational fields work, is so let's say your velocity six, you go one, two, three, um, and you will keep moving down three, but at any point along here, you can change your facing by 45 degrees. That means you can enter, move, turn, and then move there. And then next turn, you can turn, move, and this is the way that you could sharper turn using gravity. It's the only way to move mid-movement. Okay, this is also going to bring us to another important point, 